Welcome to this Exposure Basketball instructional video. In this video, I'll walk through how to set up iScores for your event and how scorekeepers can do live box scores during the game from iPhone, iPad, or iPod device. On Exposure Basketball, if you go to Features and click the Learn More button under Live Box Scores, this will take you to the training section on iScores. To learn how the iScore application works, this is the page you need to read. There are two sections, the iPhone training and iPad training. There's also a section called features where you can see what iScores has to offer. Next, let's see how iScores integrates with Exposure Basketball. Let's click the Buy Credits button. This will require us to log in. To use iScores with Exposure Basketball, you must purchase credits. Credits are $5 per device per event. If your event has two courts going at the same time, you would need two devices. After you purchase some iScore credits, you can view them under Account. If you click it, it will take you to the Purchase iScore Credits page again. Next, let's see how iScores integrates with an event. Let's go to our dashboard and to our event. We'll go to our event settings and we'll navigate down to our statistics section. Here we have a link to the iScores training page, the Exposure Basketball Purchase Credits page, we also have a link to an instructional PDF. This PDF will outline what a director needs to do to set up iScores and also what a scorekeeper needs to do to actually do live box scores. One last thing on this page, for iScores to work appropriately, make sure you have the correct game duration and periods per game under the schedule section here. Next, we need to create a user that's actually going to do live box scores for this event. We'll go to the user section and create a user. We'll give this user a first name, a last name, an email address. Credentials will be emailed to this email address. A username and a password. And we'll make sure he's active. And click Save. We now need to add this user to an event. So let's go under to Events, Add Event. And we'll add them to the event under our account. Make sure they're active and click Save. That's it. iScores is officially integrated with Exposure Basketball. Next, we'll see how this works in the iScore application. Here, I'm going to demo how Exposure Basketball works within the iScore application. The iPod, iPad, and Android app should work the same. First, I'm going to go to Team Manager. Team Manager offers the ability for anyone to do scores, such as a coach, a parent, or a fan. First, let's click on Discover Team and Exposure Basketball. We'll click our event and navigate to our division and find the team we want to import. We can view its roster and click the Import button on the top right. We'll confirm the team has been imported. Let's import another team. We'll do the same thing, Imported. Great. Let's hit Done. Let's now create a game for these two teams. Let's hit Back. We'll go to Game Manager. Click Add. And we'll click Visitor Team. We'll select Team 1. Home Team. Team 2. And we'll hit Done. And our game has been created. Let's delete this game and see how we can log in with the scorekeeper. Let's first navigate to the home screen. We first need to click Options and make sure iScoreCast is on. Click the back button and go to Game Manager. We'll click Add and this time we'll click Discover Game. We'll click Exposure Basketball and we'll log in with our Scorekeeper account. This will load up all the events tied to this user. Let's click our event Let's click the gym we're going to be at. And then we'll click on the game we're going to be doing the live box scores for. We can see the game details, the visitor team, and the home team roster. Let's import this, confirm. This game has been imported. Let's hit done, back. A scorekeeper can import multiple games at a time. Let's go ahead and click on the game we just imported. Let's click
click the play button in the top right. It is important to read the iScore training page when working with this part of the app. When tip-off occurs, we can hit start game. We can see the time on the top of the screen and we can click the numbers on the players that we will record a stat for. Again, it is important to read the iScore training page to see how this part of the app works. Once we are finished, let's hit the exit button. We'll hit the back button. We'll go navigate to the home screen and we'll click options. It is important to click the export button in the bottom left and confirm. This will send stats to Exposure Basketball. This is mainly done for archiving purposes. Let's check out the end result on Exposure Basketball. If I navigate to the event schedule in Exposure Basketball, I will see a live button show up next to the game that was exported from the iScore application. If I click it, it will bring up the iScoreCast I was talking about earlier. This is where live scoring will take place. Now anyone that has internet access can view live scores from your event. Next, let's click box scores. Remember when we clicked the export button? That data was fed to Exposure Basketball for archiving purposes. So when the live scoring is done, you'll still have stats on Exposure Basketball. That's the end of this instructional video.